Well, starting next month, New York City's police department will have an extra duty to perform. For every action taken that does not result in an arrest, officers must now fill out an information card explaining exactly why a person was stopped and then give that card to the person. So is this a win for the Constitution or yet another regulation that will keep cops from doing their job? Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, John Rafferty. He's retired NYPD lieutenant and founder of WatchGuard 24-7. And Neil Franklin, a former Baltimore police officer and the executive director of Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. Thanks very much to you both for joining us. Neil, first That's to you. Do police need yet another layer of bureaucracy? Will this help them do their job, which is to protect the public from criminals? Well, I don't see this as a layer of bureaucracy. What I see this is... It's a best practice. Many police departments are already doing this across the nation. You know, this is a very important issue regarding the Constitution and the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights, where we should be free from unreasonable search and seizure. We should be secure in our, among our persons, places, and effects. Something this serious warrants documentation. So if I'm stopped and I'm searched and I'm questioned, I think it's just a respectful and, and, and right thing to do according to the Constitution right. of the United States and the Bill of Rights. I should get some documentation. I should know who's stopping me. And I should know why I'm being stopped. And most people don't know the law. And it's an opportunity to educate people in as well. Interesting. So, John, what about that? I mean, I understand why police departments don't like this. I understand why they're frustrated. But I'm an American citizen. If the police pull me over and go through my clothing, don't I have a right to know why? Yes, and it's always been that way, but you're also told that verbally. To fill out this form, it's a tactical nightmare. Hmm. And I think, you know, to be in support of this, I think, Neil, you might be a little out of touch with police work. When you have minutes to search for people who have committed crimes many times. If you stop the wrong person, you're going to spend time to have this officer fill out a form rather than actually continuing looking for the actual perpetrator. It's ridiculous. Neil, I don't think you're making John, crazy we, we points, stop people but this all is the an time, attack John. on the, But this is an attack on police practices that have worked, isn't it? It's I mean, not that's not an attack really on, on police. Huh. I, it's, I it's think something if you're, that if, should be done. We stop people all the time, John. We stop them for traffic violations. We stop them for are many things. Are you going to start handing these and out once, on traffic violations? And, and, because we don't once, do it for traffic and once, violations. And, and once we deem that the, that the scenario is safe, as we do, then the right thing to do is to take a couple of seconds and write down your name and why you've stopped someone to search them. We've got to stay within what we have taken an oath One, to do. It's and been, it's to been done for years with the stop question the and frisk States. report. It has been done for years. Uh, the second thing is, is when you have these officers stopping people in the back of project buildings by themselves, it's already a hostile situation. You're going to have them stop and fill out this form and bury their head into a book. It's a tactical nightmare. Right. I think, you know, if you don't look at police work, well, where you have minutes to stop You're filling out the, right the form after you have conducted it to search, so you should have deemed the scenario safe, and then you do what needs safe. to be done. And Neil, to that's why I say maybe you're out of touch. Maybe to you're out of touch with police work. Because, I'm not out of touch right. because, because if you think that scenarios are safe just because you've stopped somebody, that's a little out of touch. I think we're out of time. Sadly, John Rafferty, Neil Franklin, that was really interesting. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you.